We will take some more expressions here and uh, try to understand how to simplify them and state restrictions, right? So let's let me take this example like this. Now uh, we have one over one minus cos x plus one over one plus cos x. Okay. So when we have this kind of an expression, we can take 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x as a common denominator, right? So we we'll write this as 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x. Now this factor gets multiplied by 1 plus cos x. We have 1 plus cos x here. And this factor goes there, right? 1 minus cos x. Okay. And then you know 1 plus 1 is 2 and cos x minus cos x is 0 so we get 2 over and in the denominator this is like a minus b times a plus b so we get difference of squares right so we'll get 1 square minus cos square x we get 1 minus cos square x correct and as you know from your identities the trigonometric simple basic Pythagorean identity 1 minus cos square is sine square x right we get 2 over sine square x, okay? So see how we simplified this. So we use Pythagorean identity here, and before that we use a factoring and expanding technique. So this was sum and product, and so it gives difference of square, correct? Okay? So here, after all, what are the restrictions? Because the denominator can never be zero. So we should write restriction. So the restrictions are that first thing cos x cannot be plus minus 1. Is it okay? So we say cos x is not equal to plus minus 1, right? And sin x cannot be 0, correct? And sin x is not equal to 0 because division by 0 is not permitted. Is it okay? So that is how we should be writing our restrictions whenever we do simplification or solution of uh, simplification of rational expressions or solution of rational equations okay well let me give you one more example here and let's say we have something like sine x over cos x plus cos x over sine x well, so what we can do here is we can take common denominator as before right so common denominator is cos x times sin x, right? Cos x times sin x, right? And then we cross multiply because to make it cos x sin x, we have to multiply both by sin x. So we get sin square x plus this one becomes cos square x. These are also applications of using your Pythagorean identities for trigonometry, right? Sin square x plus cos square x is 1. So we can write this as 1 over cos x times sin x. So that is our simplified expression and uh, reciprocal if you remember 1 over cos x is secant x. So we get secant x and 1 over sin x is cosecant x. Correct? So this boils down to secant x times cosecant x. Here what are the restrictions? The restrictions are that cos x is not equal to 0 and sin x is not equal to zero correct so these are the restrictions right you can try one uh, I can write basically uh, to write restrictions right you can try this we can give you uh, an expression like cos x plus cot x divided by 1 plus sin x try to simplify this and see what you get okay and then state your restrictions okay I hope that helps. So these are very simple solutions to rational kind of trigonometric functions, expressions. And here we are emphasizing on two things. One is trying to use our identities like sin square x plus cos square x. And the emphasis is to understand the restrictions since the denominator cannot be zero. Okay. Thank you.